Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded video where today I'm going to be going over more of your guys' questions that you guys have been asking me not only in my comments but also in my streams and also in my Discord and if you guys want to join my Discord the link is down in the description but I am here to answer five questions for you guys that I hope will help you out with a bonus question answered at the end that you'll have to watch all the way to the end in order to hear that question answered as well but before we go any further make sure you guys like comment and subscribe let's hop in and let's talk about those five questions now now, number one is that I get all the time is Sim, why is the map so small? Why does it feel like that we're everything is just so close? Why does it feel like we can't go anywhere? And let me answer that for you guys by two different ways of showing you. One is because really we're only playing on one third of the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up here really, really fast and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if we fly all the way up here to where we can see the entire map, you guys will see that really the entire area that you have been playing grounded in through the entirety of the game has been the pond area that's right here, okay? This little bit of an area that's right here and this area that's right up here. Not even this area or this, but just this little area that's right here because that's the hedge, right? So you got the hedge, you got around the oak tree with the pond, and then you got this area here, and I suppose the rocks a little bit as well, but all of this is still under construction. All of this is still under construction, and the shed's under construction, and as far as I know, I do believe the house is under construction as well. Now, I'm going to get out of bug cam mode, and I'm going to look at the map, and I'm going to explain something to you guys. Okay, so let's look at the map here, okay? What you guys will notice is that really, we've only been playing on one third of the entire game map, not even half of it yet. So everything that you have experienced in Grounded up until this point has been one third of the map. Now think about that. This map is gonna be massive in the chance of being able to explore multiple things, being able to find multiple things. The map is not as small as you would think. It does actually take quite the amount of time to get around the entire thing, especially with all the obstacles and everything that you can explore and find. It just feels as though that the map is small because we have spent so much time in just this one area. We spent over a year in one third of the map of Grounded. And if you spent one third of the year in one third of the map of any game, you would feel as though that that game's map is small. But really, when it comes down to it, all of this location that's all over here, none of it's done. Okay, none of this up here is done and none of this up here is done. This is why I'm thinking we're going to be able to go in the shed and the house. They are on the map. If you look, you can actually see that this box is on the map. If you come down here, parts of the house are on the map. Now, this is the porch that's right here. This area right here is the porch. Okay. But there's still parts of the house that are on the map. So it's very, very, very likely that we will be getting in the house at some point as well as getting in the shed at some point because they're on the map. It wouldn't make sense for them to put them on the map if we weren't going to get in there. Why put something that large and that ominous and that exciting for the players to look at and see and want to go in and then never allow them to go in there? It just doesn't make sense. So in truth, yes, I do believe we're going to be able to go in that. And yes, that's why the map feels so small because you've only been playing on one third of the entire map, but there is an update that's coming out very soon. More on that towards the end of the video that should unlock more of the map for us so the second question that i get all the time is some are they going to add wasps to the game why haven't they added wasps to the game all right so two things one yes i do believe that wasps are coming to the game for two reasons one look at the cover art right here on the cover art those are not bees all right those are wasps those are not bees those are wasps okay Def definitely wasps right there on on the cover art the other thing is is a while back, I was able to spawn in a bunch of their bugs that they were working on, right? Um, and one of them was a wasp. Now, what I'll tell you is, no, I can't show you guys what the wasp is going to look like because really what it was is it was a gnat that just had wasp typed above the name of it. And that was their wasp. So right now, I believe that that bug is still probably three, four updates out most likely um, because I haven't seen anything on it, nor would I know where they were going to put it. And it would be a very deadly enemy and they would need to put it somewhere very strategic where it wouldn't come and attack you all the time because you already have bees in the backyard. So do I think wasps are coming? Yes. Do I think they're coming in the next update? Sadly, no. Okay. The next one that I want to talk to you guys about and seeming we're on the track of updates is... Why haven't they updated the story at all? Well, after sitting there and speaking with the Grounded Development team in multiple live streams um, and talking with Adam, 
what they've come to the conclusion is is they they came up with the decision of do they want to piecemeal the story um piece by piece and give us just a little bit every three months or get the game's first chapter pretty much developed yes i did say first chapter the first chapter developed and then release the story when the chapter is fully developed for us that way we have a conclusive story all the way through just remember there's more than one chapter to grounded so there could be more than one area that this game could get absolutely massive just remember we're only on chapter one right now so that's why they haven't really released anything in the story wise because they're just decided not to do it because they thought it would be a more cohesive gameplay experience if you were not piecemealing the story together but if they delivered the entire story package for each chapter at one time so i wouldn't say probably not this update but probably the next one we should get a large story update that will give us everything that we need to know about the story of grounded at least for chapter one at least that's what my fingers are crossed for and i'm hoping for but that's why there hasn't been any story lately all right so this next one is a little bit more tricky to answer for you guys because the the community is really split on it Okay, and that is why did Small Land steal the idea from Grounded of their game? And I'm going to tell you guys, first of all, right now, that is absolutely not true. Merge bought the rights to Grounded about, I would say, a year and a half ago. I don't know the exact dates when they bought it, but Merge bought the rights to Grounded off of a Kickstarter that had been around long before grounded was ever even announced or released for early access so neither small land nor grounded stole each other's idea they just happened to have the same one at the same time after playing both games i can tell you that they are completely different in gameplay they may have the same premise around them of being small but they're completely different in gameplay story and feel so no to answer your guys' question small land did not steal grounded's idea grounded did not steal small land's idea they just happened to release a game around the same time or develop a game around the same time with the same premise that would be like saying battlefield stole call of duty's idea or call of duty stole battlefield's idea they just happen to be the same type of game i know that there's distinct differences don't get me wrong but they just happen to be developed at the same time so no neither of them stole each other's idea and i'm very excited to see what both small land and grounded come out with in the future because they are both really really cool games all right and the last one that i wanted to talk to you guys about is Kind of what I already touched on a little bit with the map of will there be more area, new areas to explore in the game? Will there be some new places to explore? Maybe new biomes um, and stuff like that. And I honestly can say yes, there will be new areas to explore in the game because the map is still under heavy development, right? Um, that's why it's, it's always so difficult for me to come in and talk to you guys about what's coming next in the game because it's so in the air and it's so... There's so much that they could go with. I mean, literally, they have houses. They have separate houses around the yard, right? They could go to other backyards. They could make it so you go to the ominent facility, tiny, like that. You never know. Because, I mean, they were in the story, they were talking in the in the Burgle logs. They were talking about how Burgle went through vents in order to get into the ominent technologies labs in order to steal parts for Dr. Wendell. So... It's very, very possible that we're going to be going to new locations, but also there's other things in the game that would point me to believe that we're going to be getting some other um, biomes in the game. For instance, if I go over to my um, my crafting area here and I go all the way to this area and scroll down till I find the cattail fluff, which cattail fluffs, cattails are um, like plants that are growing in the pond, by the way, guys. I uh, just want to clear that up with you guys. But this cattail fluff, it says a bundle of fluffy seeds in the head of a cattail plant warm and insulating this warm and insulating right here makes me believe at some point we're going to have some sort of either cold biome or weather that is going to make it cold to the point where you're going to need some sort of um warm clothing more or less or to insulate your homes so that way you don't freeze to death so i do believe at some point we're going to be getting some sort of seasons or some sort of biome that you're going to need this type of uh this type of, of insulation and stuff in the game for your character to use. So yes, I do believe that there's going to be extra things coming to the game. And finally, guys, that bonus question that I was waiting to answer for all of you guys that I know a ton of you guys are probably waiting for right now is, Sir Sim, when is the next Grounded update coming? 
I do not have a confirmed date yet, but I will say it is going to be in September. Why do I say that? So think about it. They said they're going to be updating Grounded every three months, right? At once a quarter, they're going to be updating Grounded for now on with a large update. Not these small updates, with a large update, a lot like the Doom and Shroom update, right? So what that means is if we go June, July, August. So end of September would be the end of month three because technically... Uh, it was released at the end of June when the update came out. So that would mean end of September, new update. It all makes sense. It follows right in their path of when the update should release for Grounded. So we could be getting a lot new cool things coming to the game, including everything that I was talking about in the last update that I said. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be getting some new things. So go check out that video if you guys want to see what my thoughts are of what's going to be coming to the update very soon. I'll probably post uh, a card sometime in the video well, maybe now and then you guys will be able to see it so thank you everybody so much for watching this video though i really do appreciate all of you guys watching all the way to the end so please click that like button for me if you guys like these kind of videos and i will keep on making them also please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget to leave me a comment down below of any other questions that you guys have that you guys would want me to answer about either the lore or the game itself so thank you all so much and i'll see all of you guys in the next one